Hi there, Donovan Fondre here with your Jumpstart Cooking Recipes and Tips, where you combine your microwave with your conventional tools to save time, to make, save energy, and to make your life in the kitchen more enjoyable. All the recipes and tips are in our book, Jumpstart Cooking for an Energy Efficient Kitchen. So if you don't catch what we're doing here, you can look at our website, Jumpstart cooking.com and you can go get all the info that you want and we appreciate your comments if you don't like what I do tell me I'll probably ignore it but still I'd like to hear from you all right what I'm going to show you now instead of actually cooking it because it takes a bit of time is a uh, an imitation roast suckling pig okay a mock roast suckling pig I was going to do this for a party one time and I, when I found out the cost of these little suckling pigs whee, it was incredible so I thought maybe I can do this by using the parts of the pig and putting them together in a mock roast suckling pig. So well, I brought a, a leg of pork, a fresh ham it's called, and I took the skin off and you can see the skin here. And I wrapped it around half of the meat from that leg of pork and then I used bulk sausage to make his face and some carrots to make the ears. You, can, you know you can buy pig's ears at the market and if you cut them into strips you can make Oh, ears and you make little curly tails. I just use the flesh that I have here. So I tied the pork together, you can see it, and as it expanded it forced the skin away from this. It was all the way around, but you can see that it, it came away. So when I serve it, I serve it this way so it looks aesthetically pleasing. Okay, now, uh, there you can see that, and the bulk sausage. And, and what was it? Yes. Oh, the ear. Oh, the ears come off. This is one thing that people don't normally eat, so I let it fall off. But for you, you can use, as I say, pieces of carrot, or you can use pig's ears, and you can stick them in here. Uh, the pig's ears that you buy in the market are probably about the size of uh, this whole <laughs> this whole pig that I have here. So you got to cut them down and then put them on the pig. All right, we tied it around there. Then. I microwaved it for five minutes per pound to an internal temperature of 160 degrees, okay? If I had done that in my conventional oven, like the instructions told me to do it, or out on the uh, barbecue, the charcoal grill, it would take about 25 to 30 minutes per pound. But the microwave being so efficient only took five minutes per pound. After that period of time, I put it in the hot oven and I basted it to get the skin crispy crunchy like we have here. Then I formed the head out of bulk sausage, put it back on the face of the uh, the roast that I have here and I didn't put the carrots in because they'll cook and they'll fall out. Well they fell out anyway but <laughs> you can do it so it looks aesthetically pleasing when you serve it. All right then after that period of time we take it out and we can reheat it or I want to show this to you so you can see what this looks like when I cut through the skin and we have that beautiful perfect moist pork on the inside of this and the skin now is crispy crunchy so you can nibble and nosh on that. It's full of fat but oh it tastes so good. Well that's your jump start recipe for today. Enjoy your kitchen and your cooking combining your microwave with your conventional cooking tools.